I need to act like I'm in freaking Brookhaven where the police be bad, bad and police. Cause I know I got the camera all in my hand. Anyway, y'all, I'm so glad to see you guys for this weekend vlog because I have been forced to create <laughs> sponsored content that I signed up for, okay? Um, not realizing that all of it was like due around the same time. And it sucked, it sucked. I felt like I was like putting out content that I wasn't extremely proud of but anyway whatever i'm happy for this weekend vlog because this all me baby ain't no sponsorships or none of that so look y'all first of all it's 1 it's super late way too late for me to be going to the gym but um i was up oh i should have stopped at this yellow light so that i could have stopped anyway i was up at 4 a.m um i guess this morning because i don't know sometimes i just wake up at 4 a.m and it sucks because i be trying to go back to sleep and then i can't and guess what i always end up going back to sleep around like seven <laughs> yeah when it's time to get up when the sun is coming up and it sucks so i didn't get out the bed i woke up at like 10 30 but i didn't get out of my bed until like 12 ish so yeah it's really late to be going to the gym but i was like you know what it's my weekend i'm chilling i work really hard this week so i'm just it's what's what we rushing for like what we got i do got stuff to do but whatever you know it's cool so i'm gonna go to the gym to gym the gym today is a glute isolation day which means it's mostly focused on my glutes my ass okay so um whoo baby whoo i almost hit somebody um I may try to get some footage, but I don't know because I'm I really don't want to be in the gym It's already two o'clock and y'all we got some stuff to do today I don't want to tell y'all because I want to show y'all because I really been waiting all weekend to shoot this video Because I was super duper excited So yeah, I wanted to come talk to y'all so that I can hurry up and drink my pre-workout So that I can when I get to the gym I'm not just sitting my pre-workout talking to y'all because again, I want to get in and get out so I may not get no footage I want to but I also don't Want it take longer to set the camera up and do all that and again yeah 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 yeah. it's too late i'm gonna try to be out okay i eh, i'm i'm gonna be in the gym before two o'clock because it's not gonna take me 15 minutes i'm literally halfway there now but um i want to be out of that thing bro i gotta be out that thing by three but see that is so freaking late especially for what i gotta do i'm gonna be irritated because it's gonna be traffic it's gonna be traffic and i'm gonna have to sit there and deal with it because these are the choices that i made I gotta be at the gym by three. I can do that. But I wanted to get some cardio in because y'all thought I was playing about a uh, Jeep Beach weekend and I was not. Baby girl was running doing intervals yesterday. Don't play with me. <laughs> yeah, don't play with me. It was fun. It felt good. It was different. So yeah, uh, I need to be out by three. I'll catch up with y'all and let y'all know. And because I'm saying that, yep, probably not gonna film anything. But y'all be all right. It's gonna still be a lit weekend vlog. What's up? Y'all be okay. Y'all don't need to see no gym footage. I'm gonna do workouts next week for y'all because I've been slipping on that aspect and I don't know why because those are the most popular videos on my goddamn channel. I be playing. But yeah, I'm gonna holla at y'all. It was actually a really good day to film in the gym because it's slick empty, but y'all know I was on time restraint. Can y'all see me? <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna run. I decided not to run. Um, my heart rate been elevated because I sleep was doing like hit with the weight, but now I'm about to push that sled and I just wanted y'all to see me because Stepping out of the comfort zone. Okay. <laughs> y'all see all this sweat so okay look i don't know if i told y'all or not but i started working with a trainer again and i saw how to sis was like yo you need to keep your heart rate elevated it's optimal to help you lose weight quicker or to lose fat quicker and so i was like all right when i be on the bike my heart rate be like 140 is that elevated enough she was like no, you need to be like 160, 170. Well, look. Well, look, y'all. Do y'all see that? 168? My heart rate been like 160, 170 this whole workout because 
I wasn't taking breaks. Like usually I'll do my set, and then I break a little bit and I do it again. But I was like, no, it was really because of time. But then I also see how like it elevate my workout just to not take breaks. So I was like, all right, I'm not gonna run. I'm gonna push this leg. So I pushed it four times. Um, one, so you have to like pull it and then push it back. And I did that twice. So I pulled it, pushed it back, pulled it, pushed it back. And I think that was good. Y'all see all this sweat. Right? Like, child. I was not playing. Okay, so anyway, y'all can tell it's empty in the gym because I'm loud as hell and do not care. It's 245, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Because by the time I get home, it definitely will be three. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, you guys, so we are home, and now I don't know why, um, because I have to run back out. I came home specifically to eat because it was late, and it's 3.17. Y'all, I'm not hungry. I am not a fan of forcing myself to eat when I'm not hungry. I know it's because of how my schedule was, sleeping-wise, and all of that, but I'm not going to eat. I know I was really, really trying not to eat out, y'all, but I feel like I'm going to eat out for dinner because if I'm not eating now... I don't like to not eat enough calories, which I know I'm still going to fall short probably. Anyway, I know that if I don't eat enough calories, then I won't sleep again. So I'm going to have to eat out. I'm not going to have to. I'm not going to sit there and do all that. But I know I'm going to eat out just so I get a, a good portion meal. Um, I'm going to try to eat healthy, but I really want to get raw. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Anyway, I came home to get something to eat before I go do what I need to do, but I'm not going to do that. So, I'm still going to go and have a discussion and talk to y'all about what we're about to do because I needed to do that anyway. But then we're going to jump right back in this car and go do what we need to do. I may grab a protein shake. I don't know. I just really don't like eating or putting stuff in my body when I'm not hungry. I don't like to do it. But then I wait till I'm starving. I don't care. And I want to eat whatever. And it's like you're not making good choices. 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 Anyway. I came back on camera while I was in my car because y'all got my car detailed and I showed Instagram. Y'all should be following me. But just in case, I wanted to show y'all my car is so damn beautiful. After I spent 180, it better be. So I wanted y'all to see. Do y'all remember how filthy my car was? And see, this is not in here. This is going in the house with me, so let me move it so y'all can just see. I mean, do y'all remember how it was all powdery and just nasty? Nothing is in my car, but my gym bag sitting in the seat was about to go in the house some chapstick down there my little mask up there and some hand sanitizer but like nothing back there i took out bash car seating everything because it was just so much dog hair and i was like baby i don't want you in my car i don't want his ass in my car because it, it's still hairs like do y'all see that it's faint but it's like you can't escape his damn hair and i hate it but i just love how clean my car is like it is so nice and beautiful it's kind of dirty on the outside again but that's fine it was the inside that was really just like killing me okay real quick while we in the house let me show y'all two things this is supposed to be my desk slash work area that is super super ghetto and disgusting this is why it's been so much mess y'all inventory ain't been right Orders ain't been doing what they supposed to do. And it's not y'all, it's me, because nothing is organized. Because I thought I was going to be cute, right? And get this little desk from Amazon. Y'all see how small it is. And I was like, you don't really need nothing. All you got is your laptop. Okay, but look at all this shit on top of it. I don't even know what's going on over here. Whatever. This just looks a hot mess. This is an eyesore in my apartment. It's hideous over here. It looks cheap. It looks tacky. And it just, it looks a mess. So guess what? We're going to Ikea to get a real big girl desk like we should have did the first time trying to be cute and ordering $40 small desk off Amazon. And guess what else? Again, y'all, if y'all followed me on Instagram, y'all already knew about Mac Daddy. I got a Mac Daddy, okay, an iMac desktop because um, my MacBook Pro always was giving me problems editing video, not because it was slow or nothing. I stand by Mac products, y'all. I've been using Mac products like computer wise uh, since 2013. I was even late to get an iPhone. I didn't get my first iPhone, whoo, baby, till I was like, I didn't have one in college. Well, not when I stayed on campus. I don't know. It took me a while. I didn't have no iPhone in high school and all of that. Um, it took me a while to get onto the Apple products, but now that I'm on it, I'm on it heavy. Like, y'all, Windows computers, I don't care what y'all say, do not last long. My MacBook Pro, my first MacBook Pro, I got in 2013. And it got stolen in 2017. That's the only reason why I don't have it now, and I had to get another one. But that one had more storage than the one that I have now. So the one that I have now is nothing wrong with it. It's just that it doesn't have that much storage and I have to use an external hard drive. And Apple don't make their own like uh, 
I'll just show y'all. I know y'all like whatever. So look, I got a MacBook. No, I got an iMac. So I need a good desk for it so that I can edit videos and I won't have a storage problem because sometimes that keeps my videos it be malfunctioning, cutting off, not saving. And what I was getting to was this is, when I first bought it, this was brand new. So I want to say I got it in 2018. So it was like the 2018 MacBook. Went to Best Buy, got it, all of that. But what happened is they updated their stuff to have these Thunderbolt ports. And as you can see, it's not a USB. So because of that, and this doesn't have any, first of all, the old MacBook I had had a little slot for my memory card. It doesn't have that. It just has these Thunderbolt ports. So I'm like, okay, how do I upload, um, you know, footage to my computer? So you have to buy one of these things that's like an adapter. Okay. So what you would want to do is get an Apple one because it's Apple. But Apple doesn't make one. Like, a, I don't know why. I don't know why they would take away the ports and then not make one of these. But they didn't. So anyway, this is whoever. I don't even know. Probably not the best guy from Amazon. And I don't know if it's this or if it's this hard drive. But baby, it could be sitting here. Nobody's touching it. And it'll say it came unplugged. And that's not cool when it's disconnecting in your editing video. Because it really messes up everything. And you absolutely have to have it, y'all. Because literally, I have a Sims game. The Sims 4 with some expansion packs on this baby. And this don't hold nothing. With my Sims game, this computer only has 128 gigabytes. My phone has more gigabytes than this computer. Editing video on cameras that shoot 4K and all that, long story short, it's just, it cannot, it cannot hold the space. And this is not reliable. This is not reliable. So I'm not saying I'll never edit on my um, laptop, but this will be, I'm out of town or on the go, whatever. But I wanna do all my editing, on my computer i want to pack orders so that i don't have to keep like moving my laptop back and forth from there and like plugging up my little rollo into this all of that because this this still has a memory card slot and it also has usb slots in it so i won't even need one of these like i may need an external hard drive but i don't really think it's the external hard drive i think it's this that causes the issue but i won't even need one of these with that so that was why I bought that. That is why we're going to Ikea. We're going to get a desk. And yeah, let's go. I done talk, talk, talk. Ain't no action. I need to grab my tripod. I don't even know where my little tripod is for my camera. See, um, look at this, y'all. I, I, need, I need to go to some office place for pens. It's everywhere, bags. Oh my God, tax information, y'all. Cause there's no shelves. So the only shelf I have is like this that needs to be, all this needs to be organized. If y'all didn't know, I'm sure it's gonna be in the title somewhere. This is gonna be a vlog about organization as well. Cause I'm gonna get in that closet, baby. And we're gonna do a closet sale cause it's just too much going on. I'll show y'all that later. What I'm looking for is my little handheld tripod, which of course, can't find it. I can't find anything. I know it has to be up here somewhere. This one, I know. Nothing is together. Oh, I, I knew it. But y'all see, I don't even know what all this is. Okay, look, we're gonna go. We out the door. We, we're out the door. Why well, I sit there and lie to y'all and tell y'all I wasn't hungry? And look what I grabbed out the door. We was better off stopping at freaking Wendy's to get nuggets to get some protein or something. Just empty calories. At least it's only 150, but I rather have had 400 calories worth of chicken nuggets and got like 20 grams of protein or something like. What is this? Why do I even have this in my house? Let's go, y'all. Let's go. So this is why getting up at like getting out the house and starting my day at one was a bad idea. I like to do all my errands in the morning because of this. Y'all see this? We're not moving, are we? No, we're not moving, and we won't be moving. Traffic. It is four o'clock. Damn near. It's three fifty-one. This is not the time to be trying to go into the middle of the city, but that's where IKEA is. So. That's where we shall go. Y'all, I'm passing the little Jeepers meeting spaces, our, our little hill. Can y'all see the Jeep up on the hill? Can y'all see the Jeep? I can't scroll up no more, like zoom in. But um, yeah, this is the Jeepers meeting spot. If you know, you know. And it's a Jeep up there. I don't know who that is, baby, but I, I'm, I got something to do. I can't, even, I can't even go up there. Look like it's a couple. Who that is? Child. Y'all, I ain't been vlogging. I was on the phone with Lorraine, showing her all the stuff in Ikea. But um, I'm looking at this. And y'all know how like you can basically like build your own. That's probably what I'm gonna do. So they have the, um, the linen or whatever, the top. But this is, I have this in my, um, my bedroom, the big one, that big white table. 
is just a bigger one of these and then the legs. So what I want to do, this is too small, but this one, mm, I probably do want to get, I should have took measurements because now I, I have no idea. Because this look like this about right and like instead of using legs to support it, get like the Alec, the Alec shells perfect like right there. So I don't know if y'all know how IKEA works. So what you gonna do is take a picture and then you go down like to the warehouse to find it. But I need to, or you have the legs here. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do two desks under the tabletop or just do one and then legs. So, so it doesn't look like they have the one I originally came for, but this is what I was talking about where the tabletop and you have like the two Alex on the side. But this looks like this is way too big. So I don't want nothing that big. That's seven, eight. And I don't want nothing that small. Or maybe I do need something like this. And it's unavailable. Crap. I, Cause I need a desk right now. So y'all, I'm gonna have to finesse. But this one is like with the Alex drawer on one side and the legs on the other side. I'm finna have to finesse. Cause we going home with something. Even this one. Oh my God. Y'all. I'm gonna have to finesse for real. I can't believe that all this is gone. There's no way. I am so glad that I am strong. Cause that thing was heavy. I found it, it was in the wrong place. The place that I went to, it was not there. But I went exploring and found what I needed in another place. So it doesn't matter, I have it. That thing was heavy. I'm so glad I left. And I got a little pillow to put in bash crate. So don't say I ain't ever did nothing for him. But I guess, I guess that's all we needed. Y'all, this was truly a no scale victory. Baby girl got her desk in the car, put the seats back by herself, walking out of Ikea. Guy was like, yo, do you need help putting it in your car? I'm like, no, super strong, <laughs> super duper strong. I'm super happy for myself, but um, yeah. So, task completed, got bash pillow, and we good. We did that. I just want y'all to see this. I want y'all see this Ikea stuff, right? All on the desk, right? Look, Bear came over here to put the Ikea desk together. So what is this? But this is like an antique. You want to talk to us and tell us why? And you think you motherfucking slick. No, I didn't see that. Who told you to get one of my damn root beers? It's just root beer. You act like it's crystal or something. It's sugar free. Well, Bear, you always come over here eating and drinking my stuff. This is and what do you do when you come to my house? Nothing. I sit there and oh, starve. You turn the AC where you want it at and everything. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Because you came me. over here to put together a desk and look at you laying here not doing nothing. Man, how you, bro, I can't look. Don't ever buy a desk for them. So you couldn't do it. These nigglets I can't do nothing. I could do it if I just really want to, but bro, I ain't. You didn't want to, but you want but you want to lay in my house and watch my TV. <laughs> But you can't put that desk together. So tell them, y'all. Tell them what we had to do, Bear. Sometimes you gotta pay people to do that. So now we gotta wait for a man to come put it together. Cause hey, this call, Hey, call me when you got a real problem. Like, something wrong with your car. But he always wanna bring up that car. He can't do that either. Really? <laughs> this nigglet came over here and to lay on my couch. Look, look, y'all. Had me going to Ikea, rushing, getting stuff, and for what? We got to wait for another man, another man to come and this put it together. This is the first time you ever had a problem that I couldn't do. So. I think it's going to be amazing. Is it? It is. What was the other problem? I don't know, but I don't know if this is the first this time. This is the first problem you ever had. Well, now, so if I if I have a problem with paying my rent next month, you going to oh fix that problem? God. Really? Are you going to fix that problem? Really? Are you? You said this was the first time? I think about it. Can you fix that problem? I think about it. Are you equipped to fix that problem? <laughs> if you broke, just say that. <laughs> uh -huh. I ain't broke. Mm, I don't know. Hey, Bash, you would have put it together, wouldn't you? You would have put that desk together after you done sat up there and had peanut butter bites. Did you tell him you had peanut butter bites? Cause you did. But now y'all, this nigglet want me to feed him. Well, he ain't did no work, but I'm supposed to provide food though, right, Bear? Yep. 
When I tell y'all to get y'all a white man, to make the fish feel just listen. Just home. just follow the instructions. Now we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow, y'all. I guess for our IKEA desk. Right, Bash. I know. Y'all, I am so pissed. So the guy came and put the desk together, and we just did all of this and went through all of this. And I don't like the desk. I don't like it. Like it's not big enough, and I'm like, yo, yo. It is just. I mean, it looks better. It looks more cleaner. It's white. It matches better. I'm sorry, I forgot I was against the light, but anyway. But it's especially when I put this Mac on there, cause y'all know how big Macs are. Like, it's not given. I just wasted all this money and time. I'm so pissed. And I mean, I have to like get all this together. That's not gonna look like that, of course, but this is not giving. Like, this is just not giving. It's not, it's cute, but it's tiny. And I should have just got, went with what I was gonna do, like with the tabletop idea and like the Alex drawers. But I knew the Alex drawers was gonna be hell to put together. But had I known I was gonna have to get somebody to put my thing together anyway, I didn't know. And now I'm like, I'm gonna just flip y'all again. Look at that over there. It's tiny. And y'all look at this computer. So the computer is just a little bit smaller than the actual box, of course. Like, this is so tiny. And even like why I wanted the Alex Jordan, because I have all this stuff. Look at this. This totally needs to be reorganized. It's stuff over here. Um, I know I wanted an area to put like my packing slips, like my bags, my so I have this part. Um, I guess I could put pins in here or I make it like a little holder and put it on the top and then I have this drawer here And then I'll open this and I have some little shelves So I guess I didn't need the Alex drawers because this should be more than enough Maybe I'm just tripping. I don't even need this to be that big but um Yeah, this looks cleaner though. Just it being like a white desk here other than that brown one I have the brown one in my room right now. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it. Anyway, I'm about to eat dinner, or no. How I'm about to eat dinner at 2.30. Y'all know, I'm about to eat my first meal of the day. Um, Bash is in the cage, y'all. Do y'all wanna know why? Bash be getting bossy, so I be trying to let him do his thing, and when the guy's here, he don't wanna listen, so I put him in the cage, cause he's in the way. He wanna cry, so that's where he at, cause I don't do that crying. Anyway, let me eat. And then we're gonna unbox Mac Daddy. I'm excited about that. Y'all, look at this food. This looks so good and so healthy. I'm so proud of me. So I usually don't eat like this. Y'all know this would be a dinner for me and not like my first meal of the day, but I had chicken breast I was trying to get rid of. And this is only, um, I wanna say like four, it's a little bit over four ounces of chicken. This is a lot of food. So you know what y'all, when stuff like this happens, this is when I wanna talk about bad food versus good food because this is 500 calories and I don't even know if I can eat all of this because you are using like, these are whole foods. This is nothing but chicken breast, kale, mushrooms, garlic, onion. And these are three little baby potatoes cut up and it's just so much food. Now, a sandwich from Starbucks is 500 calories and you eat that and still be hungry. And it's not that the sandwich is bad, but that's what I mean. Like when, that's why they tell you to focus on whole foods because you can eat so much when you eat whole foods versus you eat a little bit of processed stuff or quick stuff or like junk related food and then it causes you to eat more. Like I don't know if I'm gonna finish this but I'm damn sure gonna try because I need, I need that protein. And it's only 500 calories, it's really um, a lot of food for that. So yeah. All right y'all, so we are going to unbox Mac Daddy, Mac Daddy, Mac Daddy. Unbox Mac Daddy, <laughs> and um, then we're gonna get all our other stuff organized. Now I wanted to do my closet clean out today, but I don't know y'all, cause it is 3:30, and I don't know. I may want to relax, clean up a little bit. I know that tomorrow we gotta do some errands. I want to go to Sephora and buy um, who? Excuse me, y'all. I want to go and buy that Rihanna. I, Y'all, I'm so removed from makeup. Let me explain something. So, I don't even know what makeup drop or whatever because y'all know I'm just removed from that world. But I was thinking the other day, like, you know, I don't really wear makeup and sometimes I do get tired of looking like this all the time. 
So I was like, you know what? I'm about to go to Daytona, y'all know, for the Jeep Beach weekend. And I was like, I don't want to be wearing no makeup or nothing, but I want to be cute. So I was like, maybe I should look into getting like a tinted moisturizer or something and like really start doing, cause I've never done, because I wanted to be in makeup, like I wanted to be all up in there. I always wore like full face makeup, even though I know I don't really need to cause I have good skin, thank you Lord. But um, I was like, you know what? Maybe I need to learn how to do like quick five minute makeup. Cause again, I always do the foundation, the concealer, all that, right? So I was like, I'm gonna look into a tinted moisturizer and stuff. And y'all, again, I'm so removed from makeup that I was just Googling like tinted moisturizer, looking at YouTube videos, blah, blah, blah. And baby, found out that Fenty Beauty has a, I don't know what it's called, but basically Fenty Beauty just released a tinted moisturizer that's supposedly really, really bomb from the videos I seen like maybe last month. And I did not even know. It could have been released before that. But I know all the videos I saw was pretty much released last month. So I don't know if it came out last month. But anyway, I want to go to Sephora and get it. And then I need to go to Target and get this damn y'all bash over here in the bed eating. Always chewing his bone. I need to get a handheld vacuum to get his hair because it's all over the couch. Because I just stopped trying to keep him come on the couch because he want to cuddle. He wants to be a cuddle dog. So cool, whatever. Um, I have a handheld vacuum, but it was from Amazon. It was forty dollars, and it does not get the hair. Even in my Jeep, like I told y'all, I just got my car detailed to get all his dog hair. I need a good, strong vacuum to get up dog hair, cause baby, I'm not doing it. He shed, he just shed. So I have to just buy the vacuum, and I'm gonna use it. And if it doesn't work any better than the handheld vacuum I already got, I can just take it back. But I'm looking at my dog on Hoover now, filled up with dog hair. Just ridiculous. Anyway, y'all, I'll be talking and talking. So I don't know, since I know I have errands to run tomorrow, I'm over here like, do you want to save the closet cleanup for tomorrow or go ahead and do it today? I don't know. But we're going to unbox Mac that in. I need a knife. Two, two, two. So let's see. What's that? Yeah, let's see. We're gonna cut it open. This what y'all like in vlogs, right? Just to see me live my life. <laughs> Just doing stuff like this, I guess. I can't believe I've had this MacBook since Wednesday and this has been in the box. Cause it wasn't no point in opening it if I didn't have it like nowhere for it to go. At least I felt like that, so. All right, so. We have the keyboard right here. Y'all, I've never owned the iMac. Like these, the iMacs, the Mac desktops, I've never owned one. I've always just had the laptop, so. The computer must be in this damn side form because I can't get it out. I need someone to hold the box while I pull this out. Badge, come hold the box for me. He looking like everybody. Damn it. Where's my mouse? Here's the keyboard. 
here is the mouse. Oh, the mouse ain't wireless? Oh, that's ghetto. This is ghetto. I thought the mouse was wireless. I'm gonna have to get me a wireless mouse. This is ghetto. Okay, so I'm gonna plug Mac Daddy up and everything. Give me some water because I'm thirsty. And I'm gonna check back in. All right, y'all. So I do y'all remember earlier when I was telling y'all about the, what the laptop didn't have? And this is what I meant. So I haven't turned it on yet. I just plugged it up. Um, I love how my desk has that little hole so that it ain't no cords, but that's literally the only cord that would be. Oh, no. When I hook up the Rolo, I could put it on the desk and do, do it through there too. Just to keep everything looking neat. But anyway, you have your head jack here, which whatever. This is for your camera. So your memory card goes straight into the computer. You have four USBs and two lightning bolts. See, this is what I'm talking about. And this is for your ethernet, but y'all know we wireless. Oh my God no I may I don't know if these have um like wireless I guess they would have wireless y'all I haven't had a desktop since I was a kid and I, like I said definitely not never an iMac I don't even know if they have wireless because you know you would put your ethernet up to this but you're like your laptops have wireless but these may have wireless too I would think they would. We're going to find out, though, because, baby, see, I didn't even know. But anyway, this is what my laptop doesn't have. Any USBs, any slot for your camera, which is why you have to have that little adaption, which be malfunctioning and all of that. But, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if these have wireless or not, which I feel like they should because they're Max. But I also got an older model, like I told y'all, because, baby, I was not trying to spend $1,200. So, yeah. And Bash just sit there and literally don't do anything. It must be nice. Okay, y'all, it looks good. It looks really good. I finally have a decent workspace. I guess the desk isn't too bad. I still would have liked it to have been a little bit bigger. But yeah, so this little pink thing here is empty as you guys probably can see. So I'm probably gonna toss it. I did good. I thought I was gonna need more drawer space, but obviously I don't. I want another picture to offset my degree and then that, but y'all, we're going to talk about the decor here, baby. I feel like my decor is all over the place, just like me. <laughs> and it could be put together much better. I might wait since I'm, I may move units. It's actually probably a 90% chance that I'm going to be moving units. The only way that I won't is if, like, it's just not feasible. But if it's going to be in the price range that I think, I'm definitely going to be moving. But anyway, so my Rolo is there because, of course, that's what I'm going to be printing orders from here now on. Um, I have my pins there and my little Packer Girl doll that my dad got me. If y'all didn't know I was a Packers fan, hey, Green Bay. So here is my little drawer that is pretty empty. It's just some supplies in there. So I have a stapler tape, some thumb um, thumbnails, thumbtacks, and my hard drive here. And my little tripod that I use that I made. I may get the Sony tripod, but I don't know. <coughs> These are just some uh, massage coupons I got. And then here is um, electronic stuff. So camera batteries, um, remotes for my phone, cords, an old iPod, Bash tag. Bash doesn't have his tags on because it makes that noise when he moves. That, get your, ooh, he's so worrisome. So that's why they're not on, because I just hate hearing it all the time. But yeah, my phone box, some HDMI, not HDMI, uh, USB cords for my phone, just stuff like that. Some, uh, and here is my poly mailer, some more Bash Fit related stuff. This is extra camera equipment and a camera. And then down there is just um, my Rolo box and a small ring light. But I definitely had enough storage I thought I wasn't so I didn't need the pink thing which I didn't really want to need because I feel like it looks tacky y'all I'm trying to do better so I'm gonna move it out of the way and yeah what y'all think I think we should get rid of the pink thing I think it looks much nicer and neater and more adult like so we'll probably get rid of that I'll put the chair there this is really cute though I'm actually not mad at it like I said I would have preferred a bigger desk but you know, I want it to look like this too. Like, I don't want clutter. This won't be here. I hate clutter, y'all, even though I'm always cluttered because I'm messy. So I have nothing here. I'm, I wanna, I'm gonna buy a wax warmer because I'm really into house smells, especially because I got this little smelly dog. Um, But I actually don't know. I may, 
Because I don't want nothing on here, but what y'all see on here, this is all I want. There's a little air freshener under there because you got to keep air freshener around because where you sitting down because bash be farting in this thing. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it. As y'all can tell, it's like slanted. I may move it straight. Um, It doesn't really matter, I guess. But uh, I'm going to put something over there like a wax warmer. I have that new diffuser. I don't know if I showed y'all, but I'll show y'all because my room is a mess. Basically, I'm trying to organize everything in my apartment. So I don't know if I'm going to move that here. I actually also ran out of plugs because my Rolo and computer is plugged up. So I need an extension and something's going to go here that smell goody. And we'll go into our room and talk about that. But I did want y'all just to see how everything is organized and coming together. And I do think I'm going to get rid of that because I'm trying to be adult with my decor like that we don't even have like what is this <laughs> i don't know i was just buying stuff y'all see this little picture over here see like this the coffee lipstick so like why does my decor look like a kid like <laughs> and as i'm talking look but y'all know i painted that jeep and i think it's cute because i painted it and i got nightmare for christmas stuff because bear buys me hella nightmare before christmas stuff because i love it and i want to collect it but when I said I want to collect it, like, I mean, later in life when I have a house, I wanted, like, a room with Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Because this just look, I, I have decor around my house like a child. I this pug picture right here that Bear also bought. Moral of the story is most of this is Bear's fault. Because <laughs> he just be buying, like, that Nightmare Before Christmas. Y'all remember I had, like, that little backsplash um, on the stove. It kept falling. Let me see if y'all can see. Y'all see it, like, right there? I had this decor like a child. Anyway, let's turn on Mac Dad and see what he got to say. Because I haven't turned it on. I literally just plugged it up. So, I know it's a button right here. <laughs> Y'all see how people act when they ain't never had nothing. Like, I literally have not had a desktop since I lived at home with my mom. Okay, I heard it, but I don't see nothing. All right, I don't see no little apple. Okay, well, the, the, um, the mouse is on, y'all see the red light? I want a wireless mouse, but I guess it doesn't matter. Y'all, why I don't see nothing? Oh, there go the apple. Baby, I was like, hold on, Mac Daddy, what you got? Okay, so it's loading probably because it first booted up. That's probably why it took so long. But this is so crazy. I haven't had a desktop since I was a kid. Mama Lorraine, did you hear in the comments, girl? You remember that gateway? Oh my God, yes. I had the gateway and that was the only desktop I had. Like personally, my dad had a lot of different computers that we would use, but my computer, the the first and only computer, my I, well, I ain't gonna say the only. Cause I think my mama bought me my first MacBook, um, but I was grown. <laughs> But um, no, I had a gateway computer. Y'all remember gateway? Yes, baby. And that was the only computer. The desktop. Now I have another desktop and I just feel some type of way. I'm doing the most, but yeah, I'm gonna just, I don't know. You know, it, it has to boot up. I, yeah, we'll wait. All right, y'all. We at the setup screen. It was talking and stuff. I couldn't really hear it because I had got on the phone. Oh, where my mouse? Oh. Y'all, the mouse ain't moving. Mouse? Oh, I need a pad. It's not responding well to this. Oh! <laughs> Y'all, I haven't had this time. What am I supposed to do? It's not responding well to this at all. It needs a pad. Oh my God. I don't have no dang on pad. If this damn dog don't get from under my feet, God. Y'all, I can't even live my life. I swear to God, I don't get no dog. Like, Jesus, he just can't, I can't breathe. He, and look, I come in here to get a book for the mouse pad, look. Damn. This cannot be what having kids is like. I cannot, bro, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And he ain't gonna sit over there, he gonna come over here. Whew. Look at him, told y'all. Bash, please, please. Go away. Take your bone and go somewhere. All right, y'all. Let me try to use put this book right there. Uh, the book helped a little bit, 
Oh my God, y'all, I don't wanna use my computer. I need a mouse pad. I don't know what I can use for a pad. All right, y'all, I went and got this little folder and it's working a little better, but it's still laggy. So I'm gonna need to buy a mouse pad. Great, love that for me. <laughs> Stuff you forget. So choose a keyboard layout, you is. Yeah, I'm gonna need a, oh God, yes, yes. Remember, we, I forgot all about, we was worried about if this thing had Wi-Fi or not. Cause again, I've been so removed from desktops, but I figured it would cause it's a Mac. And it definitely does. It's asking us to select our Wi-Fi, which is Britain Snow password. I don't even know. Okay, so, ooh, Lord. Your network could not be configured. Uh, why not? Y'all, maybe we might need to try again. I don't know. At least we do know that it, it won't let me, so I have to figure it out. But at least we know that it does have Wi-Fi. So, I don't know why it won't let me, um, why it wouldn't let me on it. But whatever. So, now it's asking me about transferring information. No. No. We're going to just start this as a brand new computer. I'm going to have to put Final Cut Pro on here and everything, child. All right, y'all, so I do have the computer up. I was able to get it to the Wi-Fi. I don't know what that was about, but it easily connected once it was booted all the way up. And now, like, I literally have nothing on here. I'm gonna have to put Final Cut Pro on here, all of that. So it's like a bare computer, but I just wanted y'all to see. I absolutely love it, think it's cute, think it's great. Now, I really didn't want to tackle that closet, y'all. It's 530, but I'm gonna go in there, I guess, and try to do something. Cause I'm going to Barry's house later and have dinner and stuff, but, um. Yeah, I guess I gotta go in there and adult. Okay, y'all, so it's a lot of stuff about my room that I don't like. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I moved that old desk in here, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it because it's just, it's looking real cluttery in here to me. Oh, I do not like cluttering. So I don't like this, but I don't know what to do. So that's my heating pad on the floor that I use every night. And then just my cords, like, <laughs> y'all, when I say my cord, so this is the extension cord that allows me to have my charger that's extremely long. So that's all, like, it just looks like it's a lot, but it's really not. It's really just my charger cord that's really long. And maybe I need to switch it out because I don't need such a long one right here. Um, and then this is the heating pad. And that's literally it. But I don't like how that just looks conjumbled. And I have no idea what to do. I'm pretty sure I'm going get, to get, get this desk out of here because it's just no point. Then this over here is bothering me, like my little thing that I don't even know why I have. I know why I got it. I got it to eat in the bed while I'm like sitting up, but I don't use it. Then that box of samples right there, I just need to toss. Then it's stuff under the desk. Oh, it's just really irritating me. This is my vanity that I don't use because I don't wear makeup. But when I do, if I do, I will be here and there is some trash and some cups that don't need to be here. But this is the diffuser, y'all got. I don't know if I showed y'all. I showed Instagram, I think. Or maybe not. But this is my diffuser that I have that I was gonna move in there on that desk. But I don't know, I may leave it in here. But this just, stuff is getting to be repetitive. Cause I have this diffuser that has like rock, the salt rocks at the bottom that was lit up. See? And then I also have my rock, a rock light here that lights up. And that stuff under that desk ain't the best, but it's fine. <sighs> that is a box of clothes that I don't want or like clothes like for instance y'all I think I'm gonna do a depop I don't know though because I don't want to worry about shipping I might just try to like sell it and do it through PayPal but like these are a pair of Nike leggings I never wore I didn't like the way they fit on me stuff like this like we gotta sell that and play those closet be playing but if it doesn't sell quick enough I'm gonna get mad and just take it to play those closet because I want it gone so that's some stuff I don't want in there that I need to get together along with that. And then the point of this is we're supposed to go through this whole closet and basically just, just gut it. Like we need to get, I don't even know what's in here. So I wanted to gut it and get everything out that I don't want on the sale, whatever. And then like just organize this better, reorganize that. Cause y'all see it's like falling. Like I just wanted to get my life. So even like my stuff like this, like my jewelry, it's supposed to be in here, but it's a mess in here. Like, this is from me, like, not even unpacking from moving from Decatur. Like, I don't even know what's in here. Like, y'all, yeah. Yeah, I just, look at this. It's just, it's not organized. So I'm going to start by, like, going through the closet and, like, picking out clothes, I guess. And hanging up what I'm trying to get rid of there. Okay, y'all, I'm about to go to Bears and I'm starving. 
So this um this lump of clothes is going to either Goodwill or Play-Doh's closet. It's just clothes that I feel like um ain't nobody gonna want because it ain't really nothing or they've been worn too many times. They old. But I didn't touch any of this. I just got basically purged the closet. So this is what I have left. As y'all can see, it's a lot more room. This ain't, I don't know what I'm gonna do about these. Like how I'm gonna organize this. Cause I have stuff organized. So like this is very organized. Those are all sweaters. It was color coordinated and it still kind of is, but I wanted to make sure the sweaters was pushed to the back. Cause we're not going to be touching them cause it's getting hot. And we have like t-shirts and stuff to the front. So this is like something I will wear over shorts. Like it's like a, a shirt cardigan. And then the rest of these are just t-shirts. And then up here is like the little tanks and sleeveless stuff and body suits so and then i have my pants which i really purged as y'all can see it's so neat summer little pants jeans and then like dress pants that i hardly ever wear all the way to the back um and yeah that's it so these clothes are the clothes that still have tags on them that i'm gonna get rid of as y'all can see it's quite a bit and then the clothes on the bed are clothes that don't have tags on them, but I'm going to get rid of them. So, yeah, that's it. I'm stopping for today. Um, I'm about to go to bed. I already said that. So that I can eat. And I'm taking my scale with me because I'm serious about my goals. Y'all think I'm playing. That's crazy. I'm really taking my scale. I ain't never did nothing like this before. I also need to grab the charger for the camera because if y'all want me to vlog tomorrow, the battery needs to be charged. So, oh, didn't know I was zooming up. What's up, y'all? Hey. Y'all, I had started eating it. <laughs> Forgot about y'all. I want to show y'all. Bear made me some shrimp quesadillas and some Brussels sprouts. And I bought my scale and did all of that. And I ain't even use it because I just let him do whatever. But I should be okay because y'all seen what I ate earlier. That's all I had to eat today. So I should be okay because this is pretty, like, shrimp is low calorie. These are low calorie tortillas. The worst thing probably is the oil that he cooked the Brussels sprouts in and the cheese. But it still shouldn't be too bad. So yeah, it's really good too. Bear done finally, finally got his cooking game together. Boy, niggas ain't shit, boy. What you talking about? I gave you a compliment. Oh. I, uh, what? what you say? I said you finally got your cooking game together. Oh, I thought you said he need to get his cooking game together. Anyway, y'all, Bear finally got his couch, so he got his TV on the wall. Let me show y'all the couch. This is the couch. <laughs> Y'all probably like, ain't nothing to show. He ain't got no stuff on this bear. Why didn't this couch come with pillows? That is weird. It didn't come with pillows. And then he a, got this. It's a masculine couch. A what? Masculine. Masculine? Yeah. <laughs> masculine. Anyway. I'm him. Yeah. Anyway, this is his chair. And yeah, y'all don't think y'all seen Bear's apartment. No, y'all haven't. He lives in the projects. But, you a goddamn liar. <laughs> Bear! Oh, you trying to play me? Bear, I'm pretty sure they can look and see that um, you're doing way too much. Damn! You already said I'm ghetto. You are ghetto. Good afternoon, y'all. We are getting gas. Well, I'm getting gas. And um, I'm so hungry. It is 12, 13. I guess I didn't eat enough yesterday because y'all not usually don't be hungry, but I'm hungry. So, I was at Quick Trip. I'm at Quick Trip. Lord knows I did not need this slushy, but I wanted it. And I really wanted, y'all know how the Quick Trips have the kitchen? I was about to get a grilled cheese sandwich and that thing was 830 calories. <laughs> and I was like, no. So then I was looking at the burritos and the burrito I wanted was 830 calories and then they had another burrito that was like 600 something and I was like, no, I'm just gonna go home and make some food because baby, see them calories don't be aligning. And I'm eating out later. But I'm gonna eat healthy because I actually am craving healthy food. Like Bear was like, I wanna go eat. And I was like, I want to go, I wanna go to a place that got Brussels sprouts and like salmon or something, because that's really what I want. I'm thinking longhorn. And I know longhorn is basic, but I mean it's still gonna they got some really good Brussels sprouts. It's gonna do what it needs to do. But I also be wanting to try, like, there's so many restaurants I need to try. And it's a seafood place. My gas don't stop. <laughs> it's a seafood place um, I want to go to that has uh, Brussels sprouts, too. So, I don't know. 
But I know I don't really want nothing deep fried, and I'm telling y'all that. And I'll go somewhere and get like fried chicken with Brussels sprouts. I know I will. So <laughs> we'll see. But that's why I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna get the little sandwich. I'm just gonna go home and make me something to eat when I'm done running these errands. So y'all got my top down because when the weather permits, we jeep. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to go to Lenox Mall to go to Sephora because I told y'all I wanted that uh, that Finny Beauty moisturizer, the tinted moisturizer, or if I want to go to the standalone Sephora that's still deep in damn Buckhead. Let's see what the traffic looks like. The Lenox will be better because the Target is like right across the street, but y'all know I hate Lenox. I could go to Perimeter because it's a Target out there too. Let's see. Actually, the one the standard on so far, I've never been to. It doesn't look like traffic is too bad because it's 12. It says 16 minutes. So, guess I'll do standalone Sephora, Target, then go home and eat because, baby, I'm hungry with this sugary ass slushy. Y'all, I thought that I was going to be slick and avoid the mall, and I came down here to the the freestanding Sephora store, like off um, in Peachtree, right? <sighs> they don't have my color. So um, I'm gonna go to Perimeter Mall, which I guess is not that bad. It's better than Linux. And it's also not that far from my house. Like I live in between Perimeter and Linux. So if I have to go to a mall, if I have to go to a mall, Perimeter is better, but I just really wanted to run in and run out. So anyway, we gotta go. Y'all, I went to Sephora. <laughs> and spent $100 when I was supposed to go for one thing and came out with some stuff. I'm gonna show y'all. But now it's like, okay, well, why are you in Nordstrom? I don't know. I really don't know. Looking at shoes, I guess. Why does not, um, Nordstrom have these Nikes over here like they special, are they? No, they're just Nike Reacts. These are really, really cute. I've never heard of this brand, but I really like these. I really like these. They're only 160, they're not too expensive. Let's have the green, y'all know. If you know, you know. I came into Nordstrom because I'm trying to get out of the habit of buying um like i don't really i'm trying to get out of like the fast fashion y'all like not that i'm never gonna buy like fast fashion again but like 29th birthday coming up in two months about to be 30. so i'm like maybe i should start dressing more adult like i don't know so that's why i really came in here but see <laughs> all the clothes look stuffy so like i don't know where i'm supposed to shop where do adult shop that's like trendy that's not fashionable pretty little thing all of that like I, I really don't know and then the places that i do know about they don't got my size so yeah that too do y'all realize we really came to target all for bash he ran out of bags he needed bones and then a vacuum cleaner that i needed to get it was because of him like for his pet hair and this is the one I originally came to get. Cause I want to get a good one cause I bought one from Amazon. I'll show y'all when I get home. For $40 and it don't get up the hair. So this is the one I wanted to get, but I decay. I need to compare and contrast. But we really came to Target for the dog and a mouse pad for the computer. That's literally it. Sundays always get me y'all. It is seven o'clock. Actually it's like 7.08. I came home and I ate because I was so hungry and then I just got in the bed and was relaxing all day. I didn't even nap. I wish I would have. But anyway, me and Bear are about to actually go to Longhorn. Like I said earlier, we decided on Longhorn, so I got clothes on y'all. And I want to show y'all what I was talking about when I was like, I'm really trying to get out of the fashion over like fast fashion type stuff. Like, I'm old. I'm getting old. Okay, so y'all see this jumpsuit, right? Like, I'm pretty sure I'm about to change. This is Fashion Nova, y'all. And not only is it low cut, as y'all can see, but how you gonna be low cut all the way down here and be loose? Like, I don't have a fake body, okay? So I don't like stuff to be hanging out because stuff hangs, okay? We don't, we not, we not, we not plastic, okay? 
So like, yeah, you can't be like having me all out and then don't hold me. You see what I'm saying? Like it's loose. Like I would be feeling better if it was like, like tight, kind of give you some support. But no, just floppy. Okay, so I don't like that. I'm probably about to change. I wanted to show y'all what I got from Sephora with that hundred dollars. Spend a hundred dollars, child. Um. So I went and got the what the moisturizer that I was talking about, the tan moisturizer. I wanted to wear it today, y'all, but I was like, I'm not feeling it. Like I didn't even feel like getting ready. I just wanted to kind of like just go look in any kind of way. Didn't even want to put nothing on. And I tried to put something on, didn't work out. So I don't know what I'm about to do. But um, this is it. It's called the Easy Dry Blurring Skin Tint, and I got 20. Um, color 20, number 20, whatever. And then I had. And then I got this, I guess it's a highlighter, Fenty Beauty. It's called Cognac Candy. And I shouldn't have got this because this was $40. I was not planning on getting this. The uh, Easy Tint was one thing because it was only like 30 But this highlighter that I didn't need. But it was just so beautiful, like, on display. I'll show you guys. When I seen it, I was like, I didn't even swatch it. That's what's really crazy. It was so beautiful just sitting there. I was like, we don't even need to swatch it. So I actually have one of these. And how many carrots it's like the white looking one and it's it looked like your skin is wet when you have it on it's beautiful but this is this one what did i say it was called i don't even remember oh cognac candy y'all look at that oh my god oh uh, that is just so warm and pretty so i bought it like an idiot <laughs> And then I also got, you guys know the re re replica scents? Like, I've always seen them around because the bottle looks like it's a like a, a chemical spray. I didn't know, and I realized it was perfume, and then I didn't even know it was by Mason Margiela. And so, like, I seen all of them at Sephora, and I was smelling them. And so I got, like, a little travel one because I just could not justify spending $135 for the full-size bottle. But I'm going back. So this is called um, Coffee Break. And y'all, it just smells so warm and soft. I really love warm, spicy, sweet scents. Like, all of the clean ones, I wasn't really feeling. It was one that was like lemon something, and I did like that one. But I decided to get the coffee break. And they had like a wood fire one that smelled like, kind of like, burning wood a little bit but of course it smelled good and i really like that too and then a jazz club one or something i really like them so i'm like oh i want some fragrances from them but yeah that's what i got from sephora and that's why it was a hundred dollars you guys already seen what i got at target really all this crap for bash so i'm about to test out this vacuum and show y'all the other ones but let me let me get this outfit together because i'm sure that bear will be here soon and we're gonna be ready to go all right, y'all. So y'all see, I got I got me some jeans on. You know what? what what's up? Anyway, y'all. So this is the vacuum that I had. I got from Amazon for forty dollars. As y'all can see, there's dog hair in it, of course. And then this is the new one. So y'all can see, there's a huge difference. This thing is big. I don't really have a lot of dog hair on the couch, but I'm sure there's some. Got to be. So we're gonna test it out. Oh, yep. Found a perfect spot. So. I'm gonna flip y'all around. So y'all can see the dog hair right here. So I'm gonna use the Amazon vacuum on this side so we can see a comparison. Not gonna do a lot. As y'all can see, like, it do a little bit. I'm gonna stop right there. Bad move, cause this is your fault. This is your fault that I got to go and buy $100 vacuums cause of you. Oh, y'all don't have no kids, no, no dogs, none of that. So anyway, we're going to just see if this will just do, get down. We're going to see if this is going to, as y'all can see, I just swiped it just a little bit. It did kind of get some, but not a lot. I just want to see if this is more effective, because if not, then it's going to have to go back. <laughs>
y'all I left the camera, but I wanted y'all to see this food. Cause y'all know, y'all see these two savers of Brussels sprouts, right? This is what I really came for. And I got salmon. See, I did good. Meanwhile. Mm. Mm. Don't be a hater. Mm. 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 